Welcome back. It's 443 here as we continue to track Hurricane Helene. We are expecting a breezy and fairly nice day here. Temperatures are only going to be in the mid 80s, but it will, will be windy today. Helene is a giant storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Currently, tropical storm force winds extend 345 miles away from that center, which is about 340 miles away from Tampa. So those tropical storm force winds are skirting already the Florida western coast. This storm is a cat one this morning, but the inner structure, the inner core is trying to intensify and come together. And we do think this is intensifying will likely become a category two soon and then eventually category three or four as it makes landfall near Tallahassee later on this evening. It will move very, very quickly inland and we'll have it up by Atlanta late tonight and then it'll be gone from Atlanta by later tomorrow afternoon. Now there is going to be a significant storm surge with this storm. Maybe one of the top five storm surges ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. Number one is Katrina. Number two is Camille. Number three, four and five are all around 20 feet. I Hugo. These are some big storms. This one could rival those so around 20 feet of storm surge around the Big Bend area. Five to eight feet for Tampa. That is significant. Remember, they don't have a levee protection system and then three to five feet all the way down towards South Florida. Now what's interesting about Helene is the size of it, and I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. We have multiple states where the entire state is under a tropical storm warning or a hurricane warning. Almost all of Florida is under hurricane warnings or tropical storm warnings. All of Georgia is under hurricane warnings or tropical storm warnings, and then the entire state of South Carolina is under a tropical storm warning. So that shows you where the center is going to travel right here where the cone is. The impacts those tropical storm force winds extend so far away from the center. So this is a great example of what we're always preaching. Don't just focus on the center of that cone. Now that is where the worst winds are going to be and right here in purple all the way up in extreme South Georgia over 110 mile an hour winds are expected. That does include Tallahassee, Macon, Georgia could see hurricane conditions later tonight and then Atlanta tropical storm conditions are expected late tonight as well. A major flood risk developing down in the Florida Panhandle, but also up here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, Asheville, uh, North Carolina back down towards northern Georgia right in here. This is expecting or that area is expecting over a foot of rain. They've already seen quite a bit, so a major flood risk developing there with Helene. So for us, notice we're not expecting much in the way of anything today except for that north breeze. That will keep us nice and dry. The hurricane lifting to the north very quickly.